Every minute of our life revolves around data. We are either generating data or consuming data. Social media, blogs, YouTube, vlogs, podcasts, books, newspapers. There's just so much of data. But this video is not about data. It's about big data and big data platforms. Hello learners and welcome to my channel Constant Learners. And the question that we need to address today is, what is big data? We have already discussed what data is and also the different types of data. And thank you so much for the amazing response on that video. I have linked it above. So the data is of three types, structured, unstructured, and semi-structured data. Structured data has a particular format. That is, the data is structured or arranged in the form of rows and columns. And those rows and columns are related to each other. That means every content stored in the form of structured data is related to one another in some way or the other. In olden days, data was in the form of either text, like books or newspapers or magazines, or audios, like tape recorders or radios. But today, the concept of data has changed completely. It cannot be confined to the structured format of rows and columns. Because it is a combination of multiple formats like text, numbers, images, videos, feedbacks, etc. Like when YouTube was created in 2005, it was a simple video sharing platform. But now, it has so much to offer. Like we can see the title, description, likes, views, dislikes, playlists, other suggestions, shorts, etc. So it is a combination of text, images, videos, statistics, etc. And all of this counts as data. So to answer our question, big data is a combination of structured, semi-structured and unstructured data. And this data is many folds larger than what was generated ages ago. And it has data in multiple formats. So in short, big data is simply data, but in excessively huge quantities. Okay, so it relates to its name, big data, huge amounts of data. Before we get to big data platforms, let's see the three key concepts or characteristics of big data. They are volume, variety, and velocity. We know that big data is about huge quantities of data, and volume refers to the same. Volume of big data is the amount of data being generated, which is in terabytes and zettabytes these days, and it is a huge quantity. Next is variety. We know that various sources are generating data today, from social media, smartphones, smartwatches, to satellites, CCTV cameras. Every little thing is generating data, and it is in multiple formats, and every bit of it is important for us. All of this data is extremely useful to us but it requires a lot of hard work and technical and analytical skills to manage this data and decipher it to extract useful information from it. So that was all about variety in data. The third one is velocity. Velocity refers to speed. And here, in relation to big data, it essentially measures how fast the data is coming in and how fast it is analyzed and distributed. So I hope you have now 
understood what big data is. Big data is simple data that grows exponentially. Okay. But how is this data collected or stored or managed or analyzed? Now, in a video about databases, I have linked that video above. We have learned about how relational databases store, analyze and manage the data. Okay. But relational databases cannot store such huge amounts of data. Okay. And also, relational databases store the data in structural format. Okay. So, it is structured data. But here, the data is in huge amounts and regular software cannot manage, process and analyze such huge amounts of data. And thus, we need big data platforms to do this job for us. Big data platforms help us to store, manage and analyze such heaps of data. Also, the data is in all different formats. And big data platforms have to maintain the speed of data generation and data distribution. So, big data platforms have to store, manage and analyze huge amounts of data while maintaining the three V's of data. Okay, that is huge amounts, variety and maintaining this speed. Okay, now we are constantly talk, talking about analyzing the data. But what is data analysis and why is it important? This topic also we have already discussed in a video. I will link that video above. Please do watch that video because it is very important to understand the concept of data analysis to understand the use of big data platforms. In that video, we have discussed how data is analyzed, what are the different processes of data analysis and how the cycle of data generation and extraction of useful information goes on. So, Big data platforms also perform data analysis on big data. Okay, so let's revise our points. Big data platforms collect bulks of data, eliminate their flaws, turn them into organized useful information so that it can be used further for business purposes. And big data platforms have to maintain the speed of the data, the incoming data as well as the outgoing data and also deal with multiple different formats of data. Okay. Now, this gives rise to three main aspects of big data platforms and they are consistency, privacy and enrichment. So, big data platforms have to focus on the consistency of the data maintaining the privacy of the data and enriching the data. Consistency focuses on gathering correct data with no flaws, no irregularities, no repetition or replication and no false data. Okay, All of these are important aspects with respect to correct data generation. Then privacy is about securing the data from getting into wrong hands and also protecting it from attacks. So what could be the attacks? Uh, someone may steal the data or may modify the data or add completely new, unnecessary or incorrect data. And the third point is data enrichment. This is the process of enhancing existing information by supplementing or adding the missing or incomplete data. All right. So whatever incomplete data is there, we need to complete it. Okay. In short, big data platform is like the heart and soul of your complete data environment. It is a combination of multiple tools with hardware and software system. Okay. And it acts as the caretaker of data 
by filtering it and getting the best out of it to help the businesses flourish. But how does it help the businesses? How does it analyze the audience? How does it understand what the audiences need? That is for you to find out. Let us know your views about how data platforms are helping the businesses by sharing them in the comment section below and we will discuss them in another video. If you think that this video was fruitful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Share your thoughts about my video and stay tuned until next time. Thank you so much for watching.